Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share three keto zucchini recipes with you. For some reason my fridge seems to be overflowing with zucchini at the moment. I've got, they're called courgettes here as well. I've got some from Aldi and some from Dunn's which is a local supermarket. I've got five zucchini hanging out in my fridge so I thought I'd just see how many different recipes I can make with them or share three different ways to make them starting with this lonely zucchini over here I'm gonna make some fritters with that today because that one needs to be used and then over the next few days I'm going to make some other recipes with the rest of them so watch for those and I will leave a link to the blog post down below which has all the recipes that I share today along with all kinds of information so click through for that and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too and let's just get straight into it and make these zucchini fritters for the zucchini fritters I have got my zucchini over here I'm going to use these garlic minced garlic you could just mince garlic yourself grate in some um, onion if you want garlic really any other herbs spices you like i'm going to add some salt to which isn't here for some reason i'm using coconut flour parmesan so it's going to be nice and cheesy and an egg to help bind it all together now using a box grater just grate all of the zucchini just grate it till you've got a whole bowl full and just mind your fingers when you get to the end there you go so we'll get all the zucchini into the bowl and they could pop the zucchini over a sieve give it a good squeeze and get all the liquid out so you just squeeze it and then all the liquid drain it out and then we'll just add in the other ingredients starting with the egg a generous pinch of salt as much garlic as you like. I like kind of putting it out into my hand first just so oh, it isn't too much. That's perfect. Garlic in. I'll just mix that together. Oh, smells so good. And now it really just depends on how much zucchini you have, how liquidy it is, but go for one to two tablespoons of coconut flour. I'm going to do just one heat tablespoon. And then one to two tablespoons of parmesan as well and mix it through yeah that looks kind of perfect okay now I'm just melting coconut oil in my frying pan and we're gonna get our fritters cooking and the frying pan is nice and hot and just drop a good heat tablespoon per fritter flatten it out a bit and just use up all the batter so I've made four fairly large fritters in the frying pan over here you might need to just add a bit more coconut oil to help it along the way too and once they're set on one side flip them over and then we'll have our fritters I have flipped the fritters added more coconut oil it's pretty steamy I'm just gonna cook them till they're golden on both sides so there is my stack of zucchini fritters they look pretty amazing it had a taste too that tastes so good with the garlic and the parmesan just brings so much flavor and yeah it just makes a lovely you could have it as a breakfast a snack or as a dinner as well some sour cream would go beautifully with it too just to elevate the fat content and just make it so good but that is this easy keto zucchini recipe keep watching for two more Today I am making a four ingredient zucchini bake casserole gratin, whatever you like to call it. There's just these four ingredients in it. We've got courgettes, zucchini, some grated cheese, sour cream and cream. That's it. And we'll just pop it all together in an oven dish. And I've got the oven preheating as well behind me to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. And we'll get it all prepped so just chop the zucchini up anyhow you like I've filled my baking dish over here and then we're going to pour over a third of a cup of sour cream and we'll just keep the third of a cup handy and we'll do a third of a cup of cream and just give that a toss through to mix through all the creaminess I'm 
still going to mix a bit more and I'm going to add in the cheese and give that a mix through too. We'll add on a third of a cup of cheese and we'll mix the cheese through. So you get cheese mixed through and I'm also going to top it with cheese as well. Now there are loads of variations for this. You can mix through any cheese you like. You can add in garlic, onion really, mix through any veggies you like. I just keep it simple, four ingredients and just show you how easy it can be to make this meal. Okay, I'm happy with that. And now I'm just going to top it with some more grated cheese. Just really add as much cheese as you like. And there you go. Now it's going to go into the oven for 20, 25 minutes till all the veggies are cooked and we've got a crispy, cheesy zucchini bake. And my zucchini bake is out of the oven. It smells pretty incredible. You can see all the cheese is crispy and just makes such a yum meal. So you can have a look if I get into it. Oh, it's all cheesy. I just love how it's so crispy and just oh, yum and cheesy. But that is this easy zucchini recipe. Keep watching for one more. And for today's final zucchini recipe, I'm making an alfredo using just these four ingredients. We've got, of course, our zucchini over here. I'm using fresh cream for a nice creamy sauce. I'm going to use fresh whole garlic cloves that I'm going to crush. And I've got Parmigiano to give that lovely cheesiness, but it's really that simple. And Alfredo sauce is really just a bit of cream, garlic, Parmesan perfection. So I've got my whole zucchini over here. I've got this little mini spiralizer, and I'm just going to spiralize it and make noodles. We'll just do the whole zucchini. You can really do as much or as little as you want. <laughs> Some of them are pretty long there. I like kind of breaking it off from time to time. So you get some super long ones and then some shorter ones. Now this all moves fairly quickly so it's up to you if you want other veggies in it. You can add a tin of tuna. It comes together in mere minutes. <laughs> Making some squeaks, my noodles. But I've got a sauce, I've got a frying pan heating behind me with some coconut oil in it. I'm gonna actually go for the other side now so we get nice full noodles again. There you go. Just mind your fingers. You don't want to get them caught inside there. You can also chop up the end bits as well if you want. Oh, look at all those noodles, love it. But really just make as many noodles as you want. I'm gonna get my garlic as well, peeled and ready to be crushed over because we're really just gonna heat through our noodles, add the cream, add the parmesan, it just comes together so quickly. So I've got coconut oil melted in a frying pan. We'll add in all the zucchini and just start getting them heated through. And then crush over the garlic. It's up to you how much garlic you'd like to include. That's kind of perfect for me. Just toss the garlic through. <sighs> smells so good and garlicky. You don't need many ingredients for this. And once you feel that the zucchini is heated through, if you do want to add some tuna, I've often made this as a tuna dish, add in a tin, small tin of tuna and you've got a full amazing meal, but I want to keep this veggie, so I'm just going to add the cream and parmesan so it's totally up to you how creamy you want it how much cream to add that's kind of perfect for me and then bubble away barely for 30 seconds just so that that garlic kind of cooks a bit and the zucchini softens in the sauce you could also add in some mascarpone some cream cheese if you want to as well to make it extra creamy and cheesy but I like keeping sticking to minimal ingredients and I'm quite happy just having the cream and the parmesan and garlic or just such simple and full flavors I'm just gonna add some parmesan to it another 30 seconds or so and it is done I'm just gonna move it onto a plate there you go you can see how long all those some of those noodles are and the sauce oh, yum 
it's just a beautiful creamy cheesy sauce look at those noodles this is really i mean you could put it in a bowl probably instead i just wanted this plate oh look at that the noodles it's like you're having noodles an alfredo dish and as i said you could add tuna to it you could add any tuna you like so that is the final in these videos with all the lovely zucchini recipes. I don't know which would, which was your favorite of the three zucchini recipes. I quite like this dish. Look at that. Oh, yum. But yeah, those are my three easy keto zucchini recipes. Remember to check down below for the link to the blog post, which will have all the recipes, step-by-step -step instructions, everything that you need to make these lovely dishes. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and comment too. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.